I thought we had a great crowd tonight, and you know, again, playing under the lights really adds something to it. But you know, our weather's been so bad, and our schedule just hasn't been really good for night games. So starting next year, we're going to have a lot of night games, and I thought we had a great crowd, best crowd that we've had all year. Uh, it was just really fun. I mean, the, the crowds were it was huge, and it was just a night game. It was like really the first time ever. The other night it was bad weather, and it was under the lights for the end of the game. But it was fun to see the the stands packed, especially under the lights for the first time. The pitch. That's a line drive base hit to left center field off the bat of Zalewski and the flashes will play it station to station with two down. I thought our guys had really good at bats. Uh, we got good counts and uh, you know when we got two strikes that was one of the things that we really emphasized the last couple days in practice and in batting practice today of, of hitting with two strikes and I thought we had a lot of good two strike at bats. We put the ball in play, made some things happen. You got to put the ball in play, you can't strike out. We did a good job of that today. And now the pitch. Roberts drives it down the left field line. This is extra bases into the corner. Scoring is Evan Campbell. Gio is on his way to second base with another double. One out, one on, and a 2-2 count. Here's his pitch, and Evan swings and lines the breaking ball to left center field. That's a base hit. Boy, that's a pretty good approach by Evan Campbell right there to take that breaking ball. This week we worked on you know two strike approaches, choking up on the bat and just and being a tough out. So I think. I was just pretty comfortable in the box. Just I didn't try to do too much. I kind of just tried to square it up. So it was it worked out for me today. The two-two, a swing and a miss, and down goes Howard. That's just that's how he pitches. I mean, he throws strikes. He gets guys out. He battles, and it's just playing defense behind him is actually pretty easy. So not to do anything. The pitch. A swing and a miss. Boy, that fastball was in the glove before Bean started to swing. He's a great guy to have on Friday night. He's our ace, and uh, you know he, he did a great job to get the win. And Fridays are always important in every series. Um, they kind of dictate uh, the energy level uh, for the rest of the weekend. Um, coming out on top with a victory, the first first game out of a three-game series, that's huge because uh, uh, you know you obviously one one up to win a series already. So, uh, but being, just coming out and being able to pitch on Fridays is huge. Uh. Two and two, here's Bryant's pitch. Chopper right side for DT in the short hop field. Glove it and throw it, and that's the ball game. The Golden Flashes route the Falcons, and they have a key win here on Friday night. The final score of this one, Kent State 10, Bowling Green 4. Elena struck out two in the first, and he has jumped ahead of Howard. One and two. He checks second and delivers. A swing and a miss. He chased one in the other batter's box. Monnet has to throw it, does. And that's the end of the Bowling Green third. It's Kent State one, BG zero. Well, I thought both guys threw really well. When Tyler Scalina's on, he's as good as anybody, and. And, uh, and their guy did, did an outstanding job. Mike Frank was really good. He mixed his pitches, uh, th threw a lot of breaking balls and fastball counts. It's tough to, tough to get zeroed in when, when they're doing that. So he threw a lot of strikes and really competed and did a good job. My off speed mainly, uh, I was just keeping off balance. Um, it was hard for them to sit on my fastball when all my other pitches working well. Um, fastball was a little wild today. Didn't have uh, as good as command as I hoped. A 2-2 offering, a swing and a miss. Blew it by Walker. Uh, attacking early uh, against pop-ups, ground outs, and the first couple of innings early, and that helped out a lot. And the pitch, they both go, and the pitch yeah. swung on a miss. Here's the throw to third, it's in time, and he is out to win the inning. You can't make mistakes when the games are that close. We made all the plays defensively, didn't make an error. Uh, Tyler Scalina and Brian Clark were really good. We struck out 10 guys, only walked two, so didn't give many free bases, and uh, and again, played great defense. We found a way to, to get some hits. George got two RBIs, and then and Jason got a big RBI to extend that lead to give us a little extra cushion. So again, you can't make mistakes in close games, and our guys played mistake-free today. Clark trying to tear through the two, three, four, and five hitters. He does with a strikeout. And that punch out will finish off the Falcons here on Saturday. The final score of this one, Kent State three and Bowling Green one. You want to win every game you play, and you can't start Friday saying we want to sweep. You just got to take care of one game at a time, and it's an old cliche, but you can't worry about the entire weekend. 
You have to win on Friday, and then you have to focus on Saturday. And once you win Saturday, you got to get greedy and try to win on Sunday. But really proud of the way we played, and and uh, and our kids competed really well this weekend. We thought we had some momentum after the Miami series, and then we kind of fell backwards again. So we just got to carry it through. We had a pretty rough weekend at Buffalo, and the coaches and all of us players weren't too happy about that. So. We just really tried to focus on taking it one game at a time. You know, we have to take care of each game in the MAC at a time now that we're in a hole and we're trying to get back to first place. It was really big for us uh, coming back after that weekend in Buffalo. Uh, a little bit of a disappointment um, being in second place now, I think, and uh, just trying to pick up as many games as we can. I don't think Buffalo and Akron play today, so I think we were able to pick up a half game uh, on them. So every game's big from here on out in the conference play. So just being able to pick up three this weekend was really the huge. Pitch. Line drive on a couple of hops into left field, a base hit for Roberts. And George having a quality Sunday with two RBIs and now two singles. The pitch and showing bunt. Sutton drops it down nicely, charging Glansman. He doesn't have a play, and the flashes will take the lead. It's actually, it was all TJ. It's something we talk about all the time. With the runner on third base, if the third baseman's playing back, He's all the way back there. Our guys have the green light to do that, and not too many guys take advantage of it, but uh, we've tried it a couple times this year. It's the first time we've executed, and it's a great job. I mean, it's, you, you caught them sleeping a little bit. TJ's not a fast runner, per se, but he's a good bunter. So he was able to put that bunt down and get a big RBI. Just as a leadoff guy, I just try to get on base. I feel like looking at a lot of the games over this season, I mean, when I've found a way to get on, the guys behind me seem to do a good job of getting me in when I get on base, so I know. If I get on base, then our team has a really good chance of winning. So As of now, boy, the upcoming week weather forecast for Northeast Ohio looks promising. This one smoked to deep left center field off the bat of Alex to the warning track to the wall. It's off the base of the wall. Around third, racing into score is Sutton. Trying for third, and now in a rundown is Miklos. They'll chase him to second, and now back toward third. There's nobody there, and he dives in safely. And now he takes off for the plate because there's nobody there. And he scores standing. How about that? I don't know if I've ever seen that. We were talking about how the heck you score that. But, you know, I, I, I don't, uh, don't think I've seen that before. It was bad base running that turned into good base running. He, uh, he used his instinct. He kept it alive by staying in the rundown. A lot of guys that get in the rundown, they give up. He didn't give up on the rundown. And, uh, and he won two foot races in a row. So that was a big momentum. Uh, changer for us. It put us up eight to four, and uh, and we needed all those runs because they don't stop playing. On Friday, I hit a ball into the gap in right center, and TJ was on first. It was the exact same situation, really. And um, I was as I was going around second on Friday, uh, they were throwing four, so I I kind of hesitated going to third. So today, um, as I was around in second base, the play was in front of me this time in left center, and um, I heard him yelling four. So I was thinking about getting to three if they were going to throw the ball to four, and I heard him switch their call as soon as I rounded second. So uh, I took a few more hard steps, and then I stopped and um, got myself into a rundown a little bit. I <coughs> was running back to second, and I knew they were gonna make the throw back to second, so I uh, tried to go back to third. No one was covering third, so I, I ran into third and slid. And uh, as I was standing up, there was, I think there was like three of their guys standing around me, and I'm standing up, and uh, coach, coach D gets in my ear. He's like, Alex, Alex, go home, go home. I was like, I mean, you're the coach. You're the, so I'm, I just, I turned and I started running home. I, I looked up, no one was there. So I was just like, I better, I'm pretty sure one of the guys behind me had the ball. So I was like, I just better beat that guy. They had yeah, plate. I was about so. to say, you have to have a lot of confidence to <laughs> Yeah, my, uh, my thighs started burning a little bit there. <laughs> the 2-2. A swing and a miss, and that's the ball game. Clark with the second straight save, and the flashes have a sweep. For us to win a championship, we got to keep winning. And uh, no one else is going to give us any help. You know, Buffalo won, Northern won. We, we can't worry about those guys. But uh, we've got to come out and play. If we play like that, we've got a great chance to win every time out. So we just got to carry it through. We, we've got a very good Eastern Michigan team on Tuesday up at Avon, side of the MAC tournament. So that's exciting for us. And then we've got Youngstown, who played very good against us here last week. So we, we've got a busy week, two more games. And then we've got Central Michigan, which is always a, a great weekend uh, series. So next five games are going to be challenging. We've got to be ready to play and, and keep the momentum going.